Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on Gran Turismo 7. We're back with another 2 million credit track guide to help you earn them credits in game. It's the new sport mode time trial. It's driving at Watkins Glen, short version in the Corvette. Now this is actually a fairly fun combination. The car's got a lot of power. It's not got the most amazing amount of grip. Brakes have to be on the brake quite early. Very similar to the Daily Race A we had recently. Get on them brakes nice and early and you should be able to get this gold time that is going to be needed. Now, we're going to talk about that later on, what actually the time that you will need to get. Um, I think my time is easily going to be gold that I've done here. I didn't spend too long doing this lap. Just wanted to give you a basic guide to try and make this as easy as possible to get you the gold for the 2 million credits because I think the majority of people, there are some people that are going to want to push that time trial. And hopefully this guide will help you do that as well just to give you some basic pointers. But for the majority... I think most people just want to get them 2 million credits and hopefully we can help you do that. So if you do like this video and it helps you out and it helps you get them 2 million credits, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and let me know in the comment section whether it helped you out or not. Okay, so let's get into this track guide. So starting off your lap from the final corner. Now, when you're on your actual lap, you're going to do this in fourth gear. You can see we're going to up this to fourth gear now. This car's got um, supercharger, I think, or something along them lines because it's got so much grunt. So you can see... Fourth gear, staying in fourth gear now, and we're working our way down into turn one. Now, we are going to use the 400 ball, but we're going to break a little bit short of that 400 ball because, like I say, this car hasn't got the best brakes in the world. So, braking nice and early, keeping it in a straight line, then we're going to try and get this car turned into the curb. I always try and get the right and tight on that curb, no matter what group I'm in, group three, whatever. Just helps with rotation. So, trail braking into the curb, into this corner. Now, you're going to be in third gear for this corner and try and get your right and tight onto that curb. And then on the throttle as you're on the curb to rotate the car and then just use the full width for the track you can use the full width for the curbs here make sure your right tire does not go over the left hand side of that curb because if you do you are going to pick up a penalty but if you keep it on the curb like we're doing here you can see that's fine that's not going to be an issue now for this corner just make sure your left tire hand tire is turning in just before the end of the curb on the left there and try and get your right hand tire to skim the apex of the curb through here. That'll help with rotation. Just be cautious, use a bit of throttle control through here. You'll see I'm not on the throttle 100%. We're just gradually putting that throttle in and we'll give it a little lift off the throttle here to help with rotation. So that will help rotate the car into this next left hand corner and an upshift to fifth gear at the same time because obviously this car's got so much power, settles it down and then we can see throttle control all the way through it. And then once we're confident, fully on the throttle, don't have to lift, and you can now start carrying that speed into the chicane. Now this chicane, again, braking extremely early. You're gonna see now, as we accelerate up to the 600 board, you're gonna break just slightly past that 600 board. Now you can actually break a little bit later, but I'm playing this ultra safe just to give you a basic guide here. So break just past that 600 board there, braking inputs going in, and now we're gonna aim to cut off the first part of the corner. So you can really be aggressive on the curbs on this chicane. So you can see curb there, we're gonna aim to go right over the curb, and use as much of the track limits as possible. So at this point here, you can see, you can really attack the whole curb, get your car straight over that, and this is gonna help with widening the line and straight and actually carrying the momentum through the corner. Now we're gonna put a little bit of braking input in again here for rotation to help rotate through this corner, down to third gear, and then again, at this point, you wanna try and get your left hand tire as close to that yellow line as possible on the exit of this chicane, but yeah, you're not gonna get over it because you can actually cut a massive amount off this exit here. So your right tire can actually go in the grass. You can see it in the ghost ahead. I'm gonna do the same thing. It actually helps with rotation in the corner as well. It helps rotate the car all the way through this corner. And on this corner, you can see a little bit of braking input going in, again, to help rotate the car. That's just moving and transferring the weight to the front of the car. And I like to keep this car narrow to this apex all the way through. Just keep it nice and narrow. You don't, it's not maybe the fastest way to do it, but it's nice and consistent. And then gradually feed that power through. Just be careful on the exit. You don't get on the front a little bit too early. I did get fraction too early there. Lost maybe a tenth or so as I got a little bit, a um, little bit, a little bit aggressive with the throttle, let's say. Now for the next braking zone, we're using the end of this little bit of tarmac on the right as a braking reference. You can see on the brakes, dead at the end there. Great reference for your braking. And down to fourth gear, and you want to get this car rotated into this left-hand corner. Now, this is quite a fast-paced corner. Even in this car, you're going to stay in fourth gear. Just let the car get close to the curb, and again, start putting that throttle in once you feel the grip there and your left-hand tire's got enough rotation to carry you through this left-hand corner. Use some of the curb on the exit if you need to. You can get the right-hand tire on there and then just keep on that power. And now early on the brakes, you can see almost as we're in the middle of the track getting it back over to the left-hand side, on the brakes nice and early because this final corner, again, you want to get this car slowed down 
and narrow to the apex, going over the pit lane line and getting on the throttle as early as you can. So you can see trail breaking into the corner, onto the throttle now as we're on the apex and then powering out the exit all the way to the finishing line. Now we're going to go over the line for I think a 1 minute 13.3. It's not an amazing lap. We just jumped on, did it fairly quickly. Didn't want to spend too long. So I wanted to get this guide out for you lot as quick as possible. So you lot can now go and get them 2 million credits that you're going to be able to earn from this. So watching the lap again from the chase camera. Let's have a little look and we'll see where we can probably push a little bit more. So turn one, there was definitely a little bit. I maybe took a little bit too much curve. You can see maybe a bit too aggressive. Could have took a slightly wider line, took a little bit of curve off still. Got on the power fraction earlier. But you can see how we use the exit of the curve there to our reference for turning into that corner. Use the full width for that turning in point. It will enable you to carry more speed up this hill now. And you will really gain. Um, at first, when I first did my first lap, I was about... A second down just into the first sector because of not widening that line into the chicane you can really see the track limits use the full width of the curve again all over the curve just be careful on track limits on that one there and then again the exit there you can really take advantage of the track limits there and then you can see i'm hogging that curve just trying to wait for that throttle and the grip to build up you can see i'm not 100 percent throttle all the way you see we have a little moment there that probably loses us a tenth or so but yeah there's maybe about two three tenths we've lost so far and then into this final corner i'm quite um, I definitely could have been a lot more aggressive here. You can see I'm very, very cautious on the throttle. Could have took more track limit on the exit there. And again, on this final corner, you can definitely take more speed and get on that throttle early. You can see I'm being very, very cautious on the throttle just to make sure that we get a nice, solid lap in. So I, I personally think you're going to see a 12.3 to 12.5 um, be achieved on this, which will mean you will need to get... I would say the recommended time for this is going to be a 14.5. Five. You can see the top time is now 12.8 with a goal set at 15.0. I've done a 13.3, so I'm 100% safe. No, that is never going to be um, not a gold. However, I do think the times will creep down to low 1 minute 12.3s around that area. Um, so I'm going to put. I'm going to say that you're probably going to need to get a 14.5. 1 minute 14.5 might just creep you in with the gold. Personally, I, I would probably push it a little bit more. 14.3, you should be safe. I, I think you'll be safe at a 14.3 because that will probably push the um, overall gold time down to a 12 flat. But it'll be interesting how this progresses. It's got a lot of potential with this car with the gear changes with the power band. So, yeah, if it helps you out, let me know in the comments, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll be back with these every single week. We do them every single time they rotate. So hopefully it'll help you get the 2 million.